Hello everyone, it's Ishmael N and welcome to today's word. And in today's video, I have a wonderful word, you know, like this word, God, the Lord gave it to me some years ago uh, when I asked him this question. And this, it, like this word kept coming. He kept giving me this response, you know. The Lord gave me this answer when I was asking, as you saw by the title of the video, when God has prepared something special for you. So the Lord showed me or revealed to me that, for example, you might be somebody like uh, you're going through a lot, especially when it comes to relationship wise, you do want to get married. You do want to meet the right person, but you've been ge getting disappointment after disappointment. The people you've been involved with, they've been disappointing you, although your intentions were good, but you feel like you always bump into the wrong, wrong people. You always feel like you are not get you are not blessed with a right person. And one of the things that you do not realize at this moment, most likely that is happening to you and you don't realize is what I'm about to tell you. And once you begin to understand this, and then you'll begin to understand why, even at this point, you still the type of a Christian that you still are why you still hanging on unto god why you are still believing although you feel like you are losing your faith you are getting more discouraged but this is what is going on and as a result you will get to bless the lord for what he's been doing into your life and you are, you realize the value and the importance of what he is currently doing you might be somebody who's been getting disappointed. For example, the Lord revealed to me one thing that is very important. It was like, the answer that came to me was like, for example, if you might feel like the devil is involved, the devil is against your marital life, he's the one causing you to have these disappointments. But let me tell you, that God is the one who is directing you, who is correct, who is directing your movements. And why am I saying so? The devil, for example, or the answer that I got, in fact, this is not a, even an example, but try to think about what I'm saying right now. The devil, he was like, the Lord was like to me, if the devil wanted you like I was against your marital progress, he wouldn't force those uh, bad people or those worldly people whom you notice that they are not good for you at the end of the day. There are people whom you realize that in all honesty, you just loved the person, but you wouldn't have been a good match as Christians. Someone if you realize that they are not really even a believer or they are not even a believer at all. Someone would have been... Uh, a, a bad combination with you if you were to be together with hence like I got I realized the Lord made me realize something that it, if, if it was the devil who was involved the devil wouldn't cause that person to dump you or to disappoint you or to get out of your life but as a result the devil was gonna force you or cause you to get married with a bad spouse at the end of the day and as a result that will cause you to even go for divorce to have a miserable marriage and all those things but to show that God is preparing you for someone better for a better relationship God removes everyone that is not meant for you before it goes deeper before it gets too serious or before it leads into something like marriage because you know with marriage um, going for a divorce it's always one of the things uh, 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 something which Christians even today are still arguing about the, 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 the topic of should a Christian divorce all these things are still just an argument and this was also going to cause you to have to live your Christian life with a mindset of like at, at times whenever you're at peace you will even begin to wonder, am I still in the right side with God? Has God, maybe, does God still even have, still have a problem with me? 
having divorced of course this is a topic for another day but what i'm trying to show you is like there are many ways that the enemy can trouble your mind but the reason look at the people whom who disappointed you whom it ended up it didn't it did not end up well with them you realize that most of them they were in all honesty if you could scale them as christians you realize they were not good for you and as a result for someone who's been in that situation although in your mind you might feel like uh, i always bump into bad people or worldly people or people who are not good who help me those people had to hurt you so that you can get out of their lives or that you can get out of yes and god allowed them to hurt you before it gets worse some it even goes gets worse to an extent that they end up even have, have kids with those people and as a result even to get out of them it, it's a, it's difficult and some of you realize that yeah, although you want to get out but you guys you're already having a kid and you want your kids to grow up with two parents so that makes complicate further complicates things some that's why i say even you they go as far as being married that's why you should be grateful when god managed to make you realize that someone was not good for you or someone showed show you their true colors before you even get married because as a result you can still have a chance to meet someone good someone you can get married with you can have a happy marriage with yes you will have some set challenges but those are the challenges those you're gonna handle if you are with the right spouse that is why those disappointments i'm telling you they are for your own good they are preparing you for someone better i tell you in fact right now as i'm talking to you try to reflect if you've been in uh, in several relationships remember each time you went into a new relationship weren't you in most of them be grateful that it didn't work out with the previous partner i know some it might be like oh you still you hang on to the previous but majority you realize that at some point you were even glad that no you know i got somebody better than the previous partner you were even grateful that it didn't work out with the previous lover but during the time where you were still hurting it did not feel as such but each time god gave you something better you were even grateful let me tell you something for a parent for instance even when you were still young your parent or your parent would refuse to let you do something for example if a parent sees a kid um maybe crying for a bicycle let's give an example with a bicycle some parents they are not comfortable buying their kids a bicycle why it is because they are worried that they're gonna go on the road and maybe they will uh, be hit by a car riding those bicycles or that bicycle and as a result they are protecting the kid but the kid at the moment when the kid is still crying does not realize that it's for their own good but at the end of the day when the kid grows up they be like i'm glad my parents got to handle me like that some kids are even grateful that their parents were so strict because they realize as they were growing up as they reached the, their teenage years they would want to sneak out go partying and all those things but as they grow they become responsible they realize the value and as a result they be like i'll also do the same for my kids because i realize also my friends who used to sneak out now some of them they, they it didn't end well with them with that life they were live they were leading you know but also at that age when you're still a teenager you just thought your parents were were just hard headed they just stubborn they couldn't understand they didn't love you enough but now that you're grown you are grateful so i'm telling you that even god himself remember he is our parent god himself he is our parent and he cares for us he knows some people that at the end of the day it is pointless for you to get what you want just because you want it at the moment kids every day like kids like they'll be pray 
trying to play with fire you want to play uh play with the manches then the parent will take away the manches stick and they'll be like no they put the child away and the child starts rolling out crying and all those things but a good parent will leave the child to be because they know at the end of the day it is the child's it's for their own good hmm, i'm really sweating <laughs> But that's what happens when you're preaching the word of God, when you're giving the word of God. Even you've seen some preachers, they will be swearing and all those things. So, yes, that's actually what happens. Because you know at the end of the day, the child doesn't realize the danger of using playing with fire. They will get burned. So, it's the same. Tell me, reflect with your life. Situations where you things which you, you you felt like you needed god to give you but then at the end of the day you become grateful god didn't grant you what you were looking for some they realized they were attracted to somebody but later on find out that person is a uh is a player or that person is loose it's all over it's not like but they're like yo i'm so gr glad that the lord i didn't get in a relationship with that person i didn't know that they were capable of this and that but if God allowed you, some people have even experienced friends who would cry when they are had in relationships. They'd be like, why didn't God stop me from getting into that car with that guy? Why didn't God stop me from saying yes to that guy? But at the time, if he had stopped you when you were still getting tempted, you would feel like he doesn't love you. He's blowing your chances. Just like a... a, 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 a a daughter in a house or a family when they don't like a certain guy she'll be like they're screwing me up especially in african cultures where you find that they're charging him so much money for lobola she'll be like no i'll just go there by force and get buried with him if they don't they overcharge and all they don't understand but the moment he starts break hit uh, beating her up as a husband and all those things she even wish she had never been married to him she even wish she would have stayed longer at home. So I'm just giving you an example that the Lord loves you enough. And as a result, he is stopping you just because he wants to give you something better. So as much as you felt good when you met the right, another person, when you meet your, ra your right spouse, your spouse, in fact, you will even be more glad. That gladness will even be more You'll be even grateful and thank the Lord that yes, I'm glad it didn't work out previously. I even found somebody better. At the moment, any person that you are, you are comes next, they look better than the, the, the previous. But there is always somebody better. And when now you are being guided by God, there is even better people. So that's the message I had for you in today's video. I hope I didn't leave something out. And if I did, you know my Instagram account and my email. Just check in the description of the video below. And just give me time, okay, to get back with you. Because at, uh, especially at this moment, I have so many emails, you know, DMs. So I will eventually respond. I never ignore anything. Unless if it's by mistake, I just missed an email or a text. But at the end, I do respond. So just give me time. And remember to subscribe as well as like today's video and share with those who may feel might need this. And as for me, Ishmael and your priest, I will see you in the next video upload. Stay blessed and know that God has prepared something better. Amen.